Okay, somebody asked me to do a uh, down the line view of the vertical drop and the horizontal pull or the tug or what people call the master move. Different teachers have explained this move in kind of similar ways, but I like the horizontal drop because a drop is not a forceful move. So I think people think you should apply a pulling motion this way, and I don't think that's the way to do it. So with your trainer, you want to just bring your attention to it. That will, that will give your mind the ability to stay here longer for some reason. So if your attention goes, your body goes with it. So keep your attention on letting it fall. Just literally keep it back, watch it drop, then rotate. Watch it drop, then rotate. Watch it drop, then rotate. And then with the club, do the same thing. So I'll show you the move and then I'll hit a ball, obviously this way. So and what happens when you get up to full speed, you're not going to see this as much because if I just rotate a little as I'm dropping, you can see that the appearance is that I'm moving the force this way. The reality is I'm just letting it fall and I'm just rotating a teeny bit and the net effect is to be a club that goes right on point. And we'll see if that's true. So that's the motion. So the important part is that this is why video can be deceptive and when you try to replicate what you see in a video, you might use completely the wrong force. So the forces are actually not in either. So straight back is where you throw your force because that provides extension. If you go this way, you're moving towards collapse. But if you go straight that way with your first move, then you're going towards extension. So that way, just the physical, just the reality of your body is going to move the club around this way and you let it drop and go through. So here's the forces straight that way, let it drop, rotate through. And that is not too bad.